Hey guys, I've gotten a lot of requests to comment on the new AP item changes and how they affect his ear. So this video will be primarily on that topic with a bit of context sprinkled in on why I think my blue Azir will now reign supreme over other builds. First off, I'm going to briefly go over each change starting with Leandries, which is the biggest reason I think my blue build will be my go-to build from now on. The biggest thing with the new Leandries is that it now gives 80 AP instead of 50 for only 100 more gold. With one point of AP being worth 21.75 gold, that means you're getting 652.5 gold worth of AP for only 100 gold. Needless to say, this is insane efficiency. Point number two is that Archangel Staff, which we opt for in my blue build, now gives 20 more AP for 300 extra gold. As I stated earlier, AP is worth 21.75 gold per point, so in turn, this means that you're only spending 300 more gold on an amount of AP that should be costing you 435. At this point, we see that our two main items have been buffed by large margins, making our strong blue build even stronger. Next, we'll take a look at Void Staff. While the other items in our build got buffed, this is a bit of a nerf. We're still getting the same magic pen and stats we love, but we're paying 12 extra gold for the 10 AP buff that it got. In the end, Magic Pen is such an efficient stat that this nerf doesn't hurt Void Staff too much, if at all really. The nerf is nothing to worry about. Briefly, we'll talk about Zanya's, Nashers, and Roa just for completion's sake. Zanya's gold went down by 300 and its AP by 20. While Zanya's AP only adds up to 2,175 gold, its passive more than makes up for the 825 gold missing out here. Nashers Tooth was never part of our build, for Azir, Stinger and Nashers Tooth are very different items, and Roa still sucks. Just kidding, it's a bit better for Azir, but it still sucks. Morellas and Athenes now have easier build paths, which is decent, but Morellas' build path was already easy, so the change there doesn't make a large difference. Luden's Echo underwent the same changes as Zanya's, but it also granted 3% extra move speed on its passive. While move speed is great on Azir, I'd rather have the utility of Zanya's over this item. Rylize is an item I've said that I would talk about a lot recently. I get a lot of people asking about the item, and for good reason. Rylize is a good item on Azir, but before, it just couldn't outshine Zanyas on him in almost all situations. Now, with the buffs to AoE slowing, making it 40% instead of a measly 15, I really think this is a viable option in a lot of more situations. If you feel safe enough to forgo Zanyas, and there aren't a whole lot of AD threats in the enemy team, definitely pick up a Rylize with your blue build. Finally, to talk about Woda, another item I get a lot of inquiries on. I think Woda is a decent item, and now that it got buffed, it will probably be a really insane item on a lot of champions. Unfortunately, Azir isn't one of them. The nature of Azir is that he is an AoE spellcaster, even more so than Ziggs, where even your auto attacks are AoE. You'll never get the full 15% efficiency of Woda, you'll always get the 67% AoE reduction. This means, if you do 100 damage with your Q, you'll get 4.95 HP returned to you. Needless to say, this is pretty minuscule, and it will make almost no difference. Instead of healing for 5 HP on an ability, you can instead go Zanyas and do another 100 damage. This concludes almost all of the AP changes in this patch. Hopefully next patch I will fix some of Zir's bugs, but I've hoped for that for the last 13 patches, so I'll take what I can get. With three of your items in blue build getting buffed, I can easily say that my blue Zir build will be even better now. Rivaling that of the Morellish build, if not surpassing it. We'll see what happens in the coming weeks, and I'll keep you guys updated on how I do and what I find out, and I hope you'll let me know how you do as well. Shuriman's sands flow ever in our favor.